Good morning, children. I am back once again. So we will start from where we stopped. We were talking about to mind of the elephants. Where in my last class I told you that how an elephant has been trained and what are the pains that an elephant goes through to become tamed or to serve the mankind, right? So today we are into this portion of what you call the poem. So today I will be explaining you the poem. As you can already see, it's written on the screen, To My of the Elephants. And this poem has been written by Rudyard Kipri. Right? So, let us go into the poem without wasting much of the time. So, you can see this is the happy life of an elephant when the elephant is in the forest. Right? So, the baby elephants are very innocent. In fact, all the babies are very innocent and they love to be with their parents and they enjoy their freedom. But as I told you in my last class, their freedom is been hindered by human beings for their own pleasure or amusement. Right? So you can see this baby elephant, as you can see in this picture, the baby, this baby elephant is with his mother, and both of them are so very happy. Right? So keeping this in mind, let us go to the first line of the poem. As you can see. On the screen, the first line is, I will remember what I was. So the baby elephant or the poet is speaking for the elephant or for these elephants, they are those who have been trained, tamed and those who are taken to, through a various process of pain. Right? So here the poet, Rudyard Kipling, writes, I will remember what I was. That means the elephant will remember what it was. Not what it is now. It is been captured and been separated from mother now. But here the baby elephant or the elephant thinks that what it was then. I am sick of, of rope and chain. So this elephant has become sick of the rope and chain. Why? Because this elephant has been tied with rope and chain so that it cannot move. The other day I explained you so that it cannot move and cannot harm any human being and so that it is not free anymore the way it was free in the jungle. So here the elephant, the poet wants to say that the elephant is sick and tired of being tied up or of being chained. Then we go on to the next line. I will remember my old strength and all my forest affairs. So here in this portion the poet says that the elephant will want to remember the old strength, the freedom and the strength in which the baby elephant used to play and the strength in which the baby elephant used to run around. All those things the baby elephant will remember because when it was free, it was more strengthy because the elephant was more happy. So when we are happy, we are to the fullest of our strength. So does the animals also and elephants are very sensitive animals so they remember things what has happened to them right and they also remember their past like how we can remember our past the elephants also can remember their past. So here the poet says that it will remember its old strength as you can see what is there in the line and all my forest affairs here forest affairs means whatever this baby, baby elephant used to do in the forest, running, playing, jumping and doing naughtiness and you know you must have seen some videos where the baby elephant likes to play with the drum because at that stage of time when the elephant is baby or when the elephant is small, it actually doesn't know what to do with the trunk, right? The trunk is so useful for them, it doesn't know at that point of time. So they play with their trunk thinking that this is some rope or something like that and this happens when they are free and when they are in the jungle. So here the poet says that the baby elephant will remember about the forest affairs. Right? We will move on to the next line of the poem where you can see it's written I will not sell my back to the man for a bundle of sugar cane. No. Elephants, whether it's small or whether it's big, these elephants they love to eat sugar cane. The wild elephants what, they, uh, what do they do? Is this that from the jungle they come to the village areas or come to the residential areas which are mostly villages, right? Now villages they do farming. So in the month of say October, November, December, 
the grow sugar cane in india that is the time to grow sugar cane and elephants they thoroughly enjoy eating the sugar cane so what do they do from the jungle on their way from the jungle they come out and they eat the sugar cane being grown by the farmers right so it is it is liked by the elephants very much so these elephants when they are tamed and uh, that that uh, place where i told you in my last class after certain period of time the elephant stops resenting and all those at that time what happens as a food or as food these elephants are given bundles of sugar cane and once when they are tamed and they are serving for the man or for the human kind at that point of time mostly the elephants are given sugar cane to eat because they love to eat sugar cane and bamboos these are their very light food or these are the food that they like very much right so you can see with the picture of sugar cane which is there in this and the elephants they love or they enjoy this so here the elephant says that for that bundle of sugar cane i am not going to be slave anymore to this human being or to the human beings i am not going to work for them for this bundle of sugar cane because my freedom is much more loved or my freedom is much more costlier than the sugar cane that is being offered to me every now and then we move on to the next slide as you can see in the picture as well as the lines which are written i will go out to my own kind here the elephant says that i will go out to my own kind the elephant does not want to stay in that captivity anymore and the elephant would want to go out to its own kind that means to its family and friends and the wood folk in their lairs so lairs is the home home here in this case it is the home of the animals right so wood folk wood folk means wood means jungle and folk means all the things that happens over there okay and the wood folk in their lairs so it will want to go back to its house and all the other members who are there in his or her family he wants to go back over there so it is very sad for the small little elephants or these elephants those who have been kept in to captive and they have been tortured and they have been made to do the work which they do not want to do their life is actually back in the jungle in the wild all right so you see how how cruel we have become we for our own purpose we capture these animals and make them use for our own pleasure right so it should not be done that is what the poet is trying to explain it to us or the poet wants to convey this to everyone that we should not capture animals and make them use for our own purposes let them live their life in the forest and let us live our life in the livelihood right so we go to the next stanza of the poem that is the last stanza of the second stanza of the poem here what the poet says or how the elephant would think the poet writes i will go out until the day until the morning rain so after the elephant has broken free or after the elephant has escaped from the captivity what the elephant will do the elephant will walk and walk and walk till the time it reaches the jungle no matter even if the day ends no matter if the night ends and it becomes morning but it will walk and walk till the time it finds its family members or friends back there in the jungle so see how much pain these elephants they actually have when we see them on the road or in the circus or maybe in the zoo right in the next line the poet writes out to the winds untainted kiss the waters clean caress so over here the elephant says that it will keep on walking it will keep on walking where till the place where the wind is fresh clear wind and the wind touches its body the clean air that touches its body and it feels more better like you will see we actually live in a place which is polluted the air the air over here is polluted so they have these animals also they understand that this air is not clean so 
these animals also wants to go to a, such a place where there is clean air, where they breathe in clean air, where they take bath in the clean air, is what the poet wants to say. And of course, if the air is clean, it's quite obvious the water will also be clean over there. So, in the last part of this line, the poet says that the waters clean carrots. So, where there is clean, where there are clean water flows, it would want to go there, drink water, take bath and enjoy its freedom. As you can see in the picture. Next, I will forget my ankle ring and snap my picket stick. Over here, once when the elephant is free and has walked into the forest, into the clean air, into the clean water, at that point of time, as you can see, in the picture, there is a picture of a wooden stock that has been put into the ground and rope is tied. So that is called a picket stake. Means this kind of uh, stake has been put into the ground firmly and then along with that rope is tied so that the animal can be tied and the animal cannot run away from there. So here what the poet says that the poet says that the elephant will forget about the ankle ring. Why ankle ring? Because in the ankle, in their leg, they are being chained. Okay. And it will also forget the chain is being tied with a stock. Right? With a sorry, stake. With a stake it will be tied. So it will forget about all those that has happened to him so far in his captivity. In the next line, I will revisit my lost loves and playmates masterless. So here in this the poet wants to say that the elephant will finish its walk and eventually a time will come when it will meet its playmates. Playmates means your friends like for example who are your playmates? Your class friends or your neighborhood friends are your playmates. Right? So it will want to go and meet their loved ones and their playmates and these other members of the family, the other members of the family or their friends are masterless. Masterless means now there is no one over here to actually tame the elephant. Why? Because they are all free and they are all living in the jungle. Right? So this is what the poet actually wants to convey. Is this that we should not be, we should not be rude to the animals. We should love the animals. We should also love to see their freedom in the forest. Their freedom is not there amongst us. Right? So, here in this poem, the poet is very, very, what you call, emotional with the animals and he is actually wanting everyone to be that emotional and do not harm the elephant, uh, elephants or do not harm the animals in the world. So, this is all about this poem. Right? So, we will do the next part of the work. Thank you.